Hey, Internet friends, I'm Brock with PDQ. Today, I'm going to show you how to use PDQ inventory to locate and identify non work related files that are maxing out your hard drives. This can be crucial because as hard drives max out their capacity, you start running into all sorts of issues. At a certain point, you'll struggle to even delete files, uninstall programs. You'll just have a bunch of slowdowns and issues. So we're going to use PDQ inventory to locate those things and kind of deal with it before it becomes a problem. OK, so we'll go over to PDQ inventory. And if we take a look at our scan profiles here, I've already created one. But if you need to create this from scratch, what you're going to want to do is click on new. You will want to give this profile a name and then you're going to want to add a file and directory scanner right here. OK, but like I said, I've already created this to save some time. We've got the wasted space scan profile right here. And if I open that up, we've got our name description. And if I edit this, you can see I've already added the files and directory scanner here. If I edit that, we can see exactly the patterns that I'm looking for here. And things that I'm going to be looking for are JPEG files, MP3s, MP4s. You can kind of like pick and choose whatever you think you want to search for in your organization. I felt like this is a good starting point. But you can see these patterns right here. And this is how you want to do it. These are going to search the user profiles, each user profile. It's going to search in their pictures folder, their music folder, their videos folder, and it's going to locate all of those files that meet those uh, patterns that you established. And then to really take this to the next level, so you don't want to necessarily scan all of your computers all of the time with this scanner. Instead, what you'll want to do is just scan those computers that are starting to reach the upper limit of their hard drive capacity. So what we can do is we can click on collections and you can see here I've already link to collection here, but let me just show you the process. I can click link to collections under the collection library and hardware disks. You can see we have a couple of options here. We have less than 10% disk space. We also have a less than 20% disk space. Uh, I'll go ahead and do the 10% option here. And what that's going to do is that's only going to scan computers that are already in that collection. So computers that are already starting to run out of space, they're going to start to be scanned by the scanner to locate files that, you know, aren't work related and that are just taking up hard disk space. OK, and then what that'll look like, I've gone ahead and I've scanned my computers to do that. You'll just right click on your collection up here, all computers, scan collection, and you'll choose your scan profile and that'll go ahead and scan it. I know I've already scanned these before, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up a couple examples of what will return. If I go into IRO here and if you come down to the files and directories tab, You'll see that we have a few files here that already match. Uh, we have Men Without Hats, Safety Dance, Rick Astley. We've got Africa. I mean, we've got some bangers on here. These are great. But if you're running out of disk space, they need to go. We've also got another one here. If I pull up Aang, we've got the Matrix re-reloaded, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, but you can see that those uh, that scanner will quickly identify those, that, those files that may not be work-related. Again, you'll want to customize that for your organization. You might have users that are in graphics design that are always dealing with JPEGs and PNGs and things like that. So you'll want to customize this. But anyways, that's how you can quickly identify non work related files that may be taking up disk space. OK, if you got any questions, leave a comment down below. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm Brock with PDQ.